Howdy! Thanks for stopping in on this episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's Before and After. A uh, gentleman just brought by this homemade knife. And who made that knife, you may ask? ROA Knives. Rick Otto Albers, some goober around Los Osos, California. <laughs> it's me. I made that knife about two years ago, I guess, three years ago, and he brought it back to clean it up and sharpen it up. And um, that's exactly likely what I'm going to do. So I'll show you my results when I return. We appreciate you hanging in there with this episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's Before and After. That ROA knife, uh, file knife I was showing you a little bit earlier, well, I finished that up. <laughs> I'm what they call a stock removal. Um, I simply leave the file the way it is and I just grind until I get what I want. Um, I ended up with this and uh, they wanted uh, something to when they go camping they wanted something that they could hammer uh, tent stakes in with so I had a, a good friend a machinist friend of mine Phil Shack weld that up and uh, give a shout out to uh, Malcolm Sullivan there's what you call stacking huh <laughs> he's always stacking on his uh, Facebook page so here's some stacking for you <laughs> so <clears throat> that is what makes it oh and the um, the owner and I were talking about it a little bit ago and uh, He was mentioning he has a pretty big hand. So he's mentioning that uh, it's awfully um, thin right there So I suggested maybe we do uh, like an over under Handle like I did on this one here, and I think that's what we might do and if we do do that I'll bring it back have him bring it back and uh, we'll show you another video of that and um, show the results of that so that is what makes the world go around here. Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's before and after. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like us on Facebook and our YouTube channel. And remember, with Blade Runner, there is never a dull moment.